there is no empty feelings than not knowing who you are and where you are from. Most African Americans can only trace their roots as far as their current host country. Although some Africans in the diaspora have managed to take it further backward, it involves a lot of work. They have to dig through old records about their heritage and where their relatives came from. Nevertheless, a determined few have been able to trace their African roots and visited Africa. Here are some of the few African Americans who have achieved this incredible feat. Some of their stories are inspirational while others are emotional. Our first story takes us to the journey of Liver Button, the iconic actor who is famous for his role in Roots, known as Kunta Kinte, and host of Reading Rainbows and Star Trek, Liver Button traced his route back to the Pele people in Liberia. Next, we have Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is a world-renowned TV host, interviewer, and media mogul. The famous on-air personalities DNA test showed that her ancestors originated in different African countries. The popular TV show host is connected to the Pele people of Liberia, Bantu people in Zambia, and Bamileke people of Cameroon. Moving on to the talented actor Samuel L. Jackson, like many other African Americans, the famous no-nonsense actor wanted to discover his ancestry and he found them deeply rooted in Gabon. After finding his roots, Jackson visited Gabon, where he met with former president Ali Bongo Odimba and his wife Sylvia Bongo Odimba. Jackson was given Gabonese citizenship and passport. Next, we have Whoopi Goldberg. Karen Ellen Johnson, known professionally as Whoopi Goldberg, is an American actor, author, comedian, and TV personality. As a recipient of numerous accolades, she's one of the 16 entertainers to win an Emmy Award, a Grammy Award, an Academy Award, and a Tony Award. She announced on TV that her DNA test revealed that her ancestors are from the Papel and Boyate people of Guinea-Bissau. She, however, could not go home because of her fear of lying. Our next journey takes us to the renowned actor Idris Elba. Born Idrissa Akuna Elba, the celebrated actor that we all know today, was born and raised in London, England. The 51-year-old British actor booked his first acting role on the soap opera Family Affairs in 1997. He revealed that he was born to Sri Leonean father and a Ghanaian mother. Next, we have Erka Badu. Erka Abi Wright, known professionally as Erka Badu, is an American singer-songwriter, record producer and actress who influenced by R&B, 1970s soul and 1980s hip-hop. When the singer and songwriter find out in 2015 that her heritage traces back to Cameroon, she decided to make a trip there. Badu, who is from the Bamileke tribe, met with chiefs and locals during her stay. When Bishop T.D. Jakes did a DNA test, it linked him to Nigeria and the Igbo people. T.D. Jakes is the proud father of the Porter's House, a church in Dallas, Texas. He had been to Nigeria many times. The bishop said he reconnected better after knowing he was of the Igbo people. He does not have Nigerian citizenship. Our next individual is Don Chidu. The Academy Award-nominated actor is from Kansas City, Missouri and grew up in Nebraska and Colorado, but his DNA traces back to Cameroon. The Hotel Rwanda star shares paternity ancestry with the Inwondo ethnic group of the Central African country. On his maternal side, he shared ancestry with the Bamileke, Masa and Tika people. Next, we have Tina Turner. Late Tina Turner is a famous American singer and actress. A DNA test proved Tina is 76% African, 33% European, and 1% Native American. The late musician lives in Switzerland until her death and has no African citizenship. Lastly, let's explore the story of comedian and actor Chris Rock. Chris Rock is an American comedian. After a DNA test, he discovered it was from the Udeme people of North Cameroon. He is yet to visit his ancestral home. More and more African Americans are taking an interest in their African roots. Celebrities often publicize their DNA test to encourage others to do the same. We can only imagine what it feels like not to have an idea of your roots. If you found this video informative as we did, do not forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment box below. Until next time, cheers and have a good one.